Hi, it's Sandy Parker. Welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today, we're going to do a little bit of repurposing. I got a very plain lamp at a thrift store yesterday. I have a little girl that I am going to be redoing her bedroom for uh, Christmas, and I wanted to come up with an idea of how to make this lamp into something that will match the bedroom set that I bought for her that's butterflies and in the end I will show you that as well but what I was thinking I got a bunch of things out I got some glitter and some beads and some baubles and you name it I'm trying to come up with a plan that really makes me happy but uh, the, the colors involved are turquoises light turquoises some purples and some pinks and some yellows so I guess what I thought I would do is see first if any of these the rhinestones I got from the Dollar Tree I wanted to see if they would lay flat on my surface I guess I'm going to stand up to do this because I'm um, the very first row I think I'm going to make um, one that I have I don't know. I can't decide if I want to do it flat. I think I may want to see if I can go around the around the surface flat. I tried painting the lamp and I just I just didn't feel that the surface of it was holding up the way I wanted it to. So, I kicked that idea to the curb and started over because I didn't think that it was number 1 cute enough and number 2 something that I really liked I you know how you just know when when you're done with something that it's just not going to make you happy in the long run and you you just can't live with it so that's where I stand with my first attempt at this lamp I did do the shade and I am going to work more in the shade uh, after I do this but I wanted to first do a couple rows of this with you so you kind of got the idea of where I was going with this project and see if you thought that it was something that would be cute and I do think it's going to be cute it's just a matter of how long is it going to take and how many colors of these do you think I'm going to need I think I'm going to need quite a few because I really want it to be something that is blingy and fun it's blingy and fun are two things that little girls I think love Anyway, this girl does. She's all about the tutu, and I love a tutu on a little girl, so if she's into tutus, I'm into tutus. I'm going to alternate, I think, some purples, and I'll do one more row with you guys on the screen, and then we'll, and then I will uh, go back and see where I, where I want to make my plan go from there. I would really have liked it if these strings had gone the other way, you know, how that would have been so much easier. But anyway, I think this is the plan, is that I'm going to do some rows of this to start, and then after I do a couple rows of these, then I'm going to look at it and decide if maybe the next row needs to be maybe a fringy type row. I'm going to let you go for now, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're back. What we're going to do is I want to put ribbon all up and down the sides of my old ugly pink lampshade and so I really thought about what what would be the best approach to do it with ribbon and what I decided to do is try my Xyron if you don't have a Xyron they're the greatest thing because what they do is they turn anything into a sticker so what you do is you just feed your ribbons or whatever down into the the machine and then I'm going to pull this up closer so you can see it and then all you do is you just yank it from the other end and once it comes all the way through you just tear it off so much for that machine then what I like to do and I think they recommend you doing this is they want you to really rub it in to make sure that your um, adhesive attaches to the ribbon and then you've got Xyron ribbon. I didn't do all of them on camera for you because I didn't think you'd want to see all that but what I wanted to do is uh, the, the comforter that I got her is pink with 
purples and greens and teals and yellows. I didn't have a yellow ribbon on oh, white. I didn't have a yellow ribbon I liked well enough. I know that's hard for everybody to believe, but I didn't have a, a ribbon that was yellow that I liked well enough to do this with. So uh, I decided to forego the yellow. And instead, I went with that darker purple. I'm not sure if I love that or not either, but we'll wait and see. Then you just peel your backing front, I guess, fronting off. And then everything's, if you can see that, I'll lift it up so you can see it better. Then everything is attached to that, and it's now a sticker. See that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to run it from the seam down to this seam. I want to leave the top and the bottom rows so that in case I decide I wanted to do something else with um, some other different ribbon, I could. And I also left myself enough ribbon at the bottom and top that if I decided that it was starting to fray a little bit or looked little you know my word wonky that I could cut it off so that's my intention it is 14 inches I'm gonna sorry take it off camera for just a second I'm probably gonna have to do that every time I do the very top edge uh, but what I want to do and there's a little dent in it I think that that covers it enough that you won't be able to see it uh, my intention is is that I run enough of this ribbon around it that you don't see any part of the shade that you hate well that I hate and so, so that's the plan. Whether or not I can accomplish that, I don't know. And then I, I decided I would run different widths of ribbon, and I didn't know exactly how far apart I wanted them. So my goal at this point is just to put them down in uh, maybe a variety of, um, of widths apart, just to see if I like it, I don't know. So that's the first two. Let's do a whole row first, or a whole section, so you can kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this. And I, as I said, I did different widths of ribbon because I wanted to see if I could come up with ribbons that looked good together but yet were different widths. And I wanted this to be attractive enough that this little girl didn't look at it and go, oh my god, she's a crazy woman, give me something that ugly. So that's four of the five. I have a purple strip that I didn't have in that row, a lighter purple. I can tell already I'm going to need a lot more sections of this stuff. I really, I wasn't really sure, like I said, how close I was going to put them together, so that did make a difference in, in how I... Um, and, and how many of these I made, but I think I need to have enough of them that that they don't look stupid. I think they look kind of cute. It only took maybe one more section than I thought it would, which was surprising because I really, at the beginning, I started to think, holy crap, this is going to take a lot more ribbon than I had cut originally. And I like the purple. I think it really sets things off. I hope you can see how cute this is. And I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go around the top and the bottom with that purple because I really like it. And I'm going to use this 3-in-1 beacon glue that um, I have the love-hate relationship with. It's the kind that is like hot glue but um, is not hot. And I'm hoping that it works really good for this, but I don't know yet. So far, I think it looks really cute. I like it when you have something that you can repurpose like this and really make it into something that is not just usable, but is cute and that somebody's going to really like. And um, I, I hope this little girl likes this. I think she will. She really likes orange, and um, I've been trying to find orange clothes for her that aren't Halloween themed and it's hard to find orange clothes for little girls. Apparently they think little girls like purple and pink and that's all. But she does like purple, thank goodness, and um, she likes she likes orange. I'm sure her mother's going crazy trying to find orange things that she likes. This stuff sure is sticky, I'll give it that. So there's the top. Cute. 
loving it. Now all we have to do is the bottom. I have a, a ribbon, uh, if you saw my video of my room, you'd see that I have a ribbon, um, it's a purse that, that has holes in it that the ribbon comes out through and I really like it. The only problem is is when you try to take a crap load of ribbon out like this it takes forever so what I did instead was I just went in through the top and pulled the whole skein out but since you have to take it off of its um, you know its cardboard then you end up having uh, big balls of ribbon everywhere which is what I got right here big ball of ribbon. Well I think for the time being, until this all gets to the point where I can play with it again and take some of the the little um, frayed pieces of the glue. It does that same thing with glue, but I, I, uh, my friend Linda told me all I have to do is put a little bit of, uh, of um, heat to it and it will take that right off. Well, the lamp came out, I think, kind of cute. I don't know if you can see that really well. I'm trying to spin it for you. I just basically took all the different pearls I have, sequins, uh, or not sequins, uh, the uh, rhinestones, ribbons. I layered ribbons. I did a lot with uh, any kind of colors that matched. And then I did the same thing with, you probably, well, if you, I did, do one part of this where I showed you what the uh, frame, well, excuse me, what the lampshade looked like at one point, but the lampshade didn't really scream my name until I blinged it up more because it really needed more. And so here's the lampshade. I don't know if you can see that really well. And then what I'm going to do in the end is I'm going to show you what it looks like with everything on top. I know it looks a little bit gaudy, but wait till you see what it looks like on top of the of the comforter. So here it is. It's on top of the comforter. I zoom out a little bit so you can see. Oops, I zoomed in. Zoom out a little bit so you can see the comforter as well. It's really cool and it's very colorful. Going back a little bit more. That's the comforter and that's the lamp. Isn't it adorable? I'm really happy with it and I hope that if you have a somebody on your wish list that you want to do something like this for that you'll consider it and please give me a thumbs up there's the thumb a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i have lots of great mo more tutorials coming up i know i didn't really explain a lot about this one but i think it's pretty self-explanatory thanks again for watching look forward to talking to you again bye bye